Hi there, welcome to Manos Creativas. My name is Rosy Rivera and today I'm sharing how to make this beautiful autumn witch mug surrounded by pumpkins. I hope you like it. Let's get started. First of all, we have the template available as usual and you can find this on our website. Now we're just going to make the cutouts for the face, neck and shoulders, the base of the hair, the hat, and the leaves. I have these already cut out on mine. And, and if you have I mean, cutters just for this, you can definitely use them as well. We're going to start with the neck and shoulders. Now before we cut them out from on the clay, we're gonna have to make the base of the hair. So we're gonna measure one tablespoon of cold porcelain clay, stretch it out, and then as usual, we're just gonna cut it out or cut around our little stencil slash template. Now for the torso, we're gonna get another tablespoon of clay and whatever skin color we're gonna use. We're gonna knead it thoroughly, stretch it out, and then place our other cutout. And use it as a guide to get the shape we need. For her blouse, we're going to get half a tablespoon of clay in black, knead it thoroughly as usual, and then we're going to stretch it out and make it relatively thin so we can get, we can cover the entire area of her torso and it's just going to be gently layered on top of it, as you can see here. Now we're going to make the face and for that we're going to need half a tablespoon of clay again in the same skin color we use for her neck and shoulders. We're going to form that into a ball and we always need to make sure this is as smooth as possible so we can get a very smooth looking face. Now shape it into an egg and flatten it out. And next we're just going to work on her facial features. Now for the top part of her hair, or her actual hair, we're going to get one tablespoon and a half of the same color we use for the base hair, and we're going to use our cutout. 
But before we start on that, we are going to add a little bit of shading right around her neck. Since this is the this layer of hair is underneath everything else. So we're just going to make sure we get that depth and dimension we need. Now for the hat, we're going to get two tablespoons of black clay and we're going to use our cutout. Now for the pumpkins, we're going to get one teaspoon of clay. This is, I get the shade by using natural color clay and then a little bit of burnt sienna. We're going to knead it thoroughly and you can use different sizes depending on, sorry, different amounts of clay depending on the size you want to make your different pumpkins. And then we're just going to shade them. For the leaves, we're going to measure half a teaspoon in green, green clay, again using natural color clay. Then we have a little leaf cutouts that we're going to use as a base. And again, if you have a cutter, you can use those instead. And we're going to make this these very, very thin. Now we're going to start by, we're going to piece everything together. So I'm going to start by adding the pumpkins on her hat, making a little bit of space underneath her hat for layering, and then just place it in, placing it there. Adding another one right next to it, and so on and so forth. And that's it. Now we have our beautiful mug decorated with this beautiful autumn theme witch. And it's all set. I really hope you enjoyed this project. Thank you for watching our channel. And thank you for your support. This is Rosy Rivera. And I am Manos Creativas. Many blessings.
for relaxation, to share with friends and family, or even to start your own business, find all of her free and paid classes on our website. Every week, we share one free class and multiple premium classes. Enroll now at rosirivera.com classes.